song that was beautiful <laughs> so now is the time where we're putting our spiritual practice to work and we're going to give peace and love and harmony and healing to our loved ones and this is called the circle of love prayer and i invite you to raise your hand if you have anyone in your life that may be need of prayer right now <clears throat> and as you raise your hand i will ring the bell in their honor and we'll bring them into the circle of love in this room so it's I can feel the peace and the love and the harmony that is here, right here and right now. So does anyone need a healing? Lindsay and Irene. Mm, beautiful. We have a lot of people in our hearts this evening. So I invite you to close your eyes and to go within. Mm, just recognizing that these people in our hearts and our mind and our soul are our loved ones. We are one with each and every one. The circle is complete, is eternal. There is no ending, there is no beginning. The circle of love is complete. It binds all together with cords of everlasting unity. I cannot depart from his presence nor wander from its care. And I know that circle of love is complete within me, within my heart, with my soul, with my mind. It is complete within each person that we hold in the mind of God. It is the essence of love that each person is perfect, whole, and complete. I know where there is love, there is light. I know if anyone is, is experiencing any lack or limitation, there's love and abundance and joy coming into their life that is right here and right now. I know that as, if there's any disharmony, I know there is peace and harmony in their lives. It is joy, it is wholeness, it is goodness. I know there's an infinite intelligence that runs through each and every person. And I know in the mind of God that each person already is healed right here and right now. For the presence of God is, is a divine healing. And I'm grateful for this divine knowing. 
as I release my word into the law of mind, knowing that it is done, and so it is. Mm, what a beautiful thing, an opportunity to pray for the ones that we love. And if you need prayer here, we have practitioners, Trudy, and we have two of our practitioner students holding the light for us this evening which I am very grateful for. We have Rebecca and Barbara. So make sure you thank them this evening for doing that. And Trudy, thank you for your beautiful consciousness. I think I better change this. I also want to thank Ed Reeves and Steve Grant on text. I'd like to thank Ginny Mills and Dennis Mills for helping us out. Gregory Neville on video. My mother loves you. You're my mother's favorite person. And Ecote, you were just beautiful this evening. Ralph Glenn, Mary Brenda McQueen, Jeff Lieberman, and Marsha Jen. Let's give them a big hand. Definitely. Thank you. Um, I, am, I, am, uh, I am teaching a class called The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind and is mastering the inner game of wealth. It'll be two days in May and two in June, May 9th and 16th and June 6th and 13th. And it's going to be a wonderful interactive class. I actually have a rags to riches story myself and has gone through an expanded uh, consciousness around that. So I would love for you to join me for that. And also every month we have the Dances of Universal Peace. On April 15th will be Jim and Lin Chow. So join us. The dances are beautiful um, as we, it's prayer through movement as we sing and we dance the embodiment of spirit. We become that universal presence for the world. So I invite you to stand up so we may have our universal blessing together. Together, let's say, may all beings be well and happy. May all beings be free from strife. May all beings return to love. Peace be with you forevermore. And let's sing us out, Ecote. Come on up, Trudy and Nicolette.
Seaside. May peace be with you. Please join us in the family room. Put your name on the email list and join us for cookies and tea. I love you. <laughs> Next time.